Trance channel here again today for our daily Course in Miracles lesson together. Thank you for joining me again today. Today we are doing lesson number 232. Be in my mind, my Father, through the day. Be in my mind, my Father, when I wake and shine on me throughout the day today. Let every minute be a time in which I dwell with you. And let me not forget my hourly thanksgiving that you have remained with me and always will be there to hear my call to you and answer me. As evening comes, let all my thoughts be still of you and your love. And let me sleep sure of my safety, certain of your care, and happily aware I am your son. This is as every day should be. Today, practice the end of fear. Have faith in him who is your father. Trust all things to him. Let him reveal all things to you and be you undismayed because you are his son. And that is our lesson today, lesson number 232. Be in my mind, my father, through the day. Let's see what Jesus has to say to us today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus. And have you not noticed how repetitive your nagging negative thoughts are? I must get the oil changed in the car. I must get the oil changed in the car. Oh, I have to go to the bank to get the money to pay for the oil to get changed in the car. Oh, I must get the oil changed in the car. This is an absolute waste of your creative power. We would like you to be aligning your mind with the loving thoughts and lessons and prayers that we bring to you each day, trusting that whenever a decision needs to be made, you will have primed yourself to be in such a high frequency place that the answer is easy for you to find and the decision and the action that is required is logical and easy to discern. When you are contaminating your mind all the time with worries about money and worries about this and that and the other thing and the environment and uh, the politics and all of these things, getting yourself all churned up, you are far out of alignment with the answer to your problems. The answers to your problems are in a higher frequency place than the frequency that created the problems. So when you are agitated, fearful, anxious, judgmental, worried, nervous, anxious, your guidance system is telling you that you're doing something incorrectly. Do not think that the world needs to change for you to be at peace. The next few years are going to be very tumultuous on your planet and you had better not be looking at a at the world to try and find your peace. You must cultivate it from within your own consciousness, using your own mental discipline and the training that we are bringing you here. Many of you are probably already seeing that you are a lot calmer than those around you because you are spending a certain amount of time each day disciplining your mind into a more loving frequency, into a more faithful place. Other people have faith but they have faith in the economy, they have faith in their bodies, they have faith in the president or the prime minister or whoever's in charge of your government. No wonder they are upset, no wonder they are scared, they have put their faith in things that do not deserve their faith. This does not mean that you do not act in accord with your guidance when it comes to political affiliations or environmental action or any of these things. You will, if you are in these higher frequencies, be guided very, very clearly when it is time for you to do something and what that something is. So stop fretting, stop worrying, and do these lessons expecting to hear from the divine the guidance that you need to make your decisions today. And they do not be, they need to be ruminated on forever and ever. Know that if a decision has to be made, if you do this work, you will be in the right frequency when the time comes to make a decision, to make the correct decision. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and I will speak to you again tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.